Hello, Dr. Joe here of the drjo.com and the 2020forum.com. So vitamin D is essential in the metabolism of calcium and phosphorus. Those two minerals, they are very important in our bone health. But the actions of vitamin D spread beyond our skeletal system. We do have vitamin D receptors in other tissues and in particular in the kidneys where the conversion of vitamin D to the active metabolite really takes place. So our kidneys are essential in the metabolism of vitamin D in itself. So the questions we're going to be answering in this video are, one, is it possible to consume excess amounts of vitamin D? That's the first question. And the second question is, if you consume excess amounts, does that lead to toxic side effects? That's question two. And question three is going to be, uh, when you have toxic side effects, do they affect our kidney health? So we're going to be answering those three questions. Now, I'll give you preliminary answers to the first two questions. Yes, you can consume excess amounts of vitamin D. And yes, you can also have toxic side effects from excess vitamin D in your circulation. Now, the other thing I need to say is this. You're not going to get excess vitamin D from your diet or from the sun. Our body's regulatory mechanism easily takes care of vitamin D from the diet and also from sun irradiation. So with that being the case, uh, where do you get the excess vitamin D from? Well, it's got to be from one source, isn't it? Uh, it's got to be from vitamin D supplements. So vitamin D supplementation is something we need to be careful about. So with that said, uh, let's have a look at uh, some of those side effects uh, that uh, can arise from excess vitamin D and see whether our kidney health will be affected as well. So let's have a look at some of those symptoms. Here's what you can expect uh, from vitamin D toxicity. Okay, You may or may not experience all of these symptoms, but you may experience some of them. So let's go. Poor appetite is one. Okay, Nausea and vomiting. Constipation, okay, you could get really constipated. In the same vein, you could also end up with diarrhea, so constipation or diarrhea. Drowsiness, so you feel really sleepy during the day. Continuous headaches that are really unexplained, okay, continuous headaches. So those are the early stage symptoms of vitamin D toxicity. So what can you expect later on? So here we go. Irregular heartbeat, frequent urination, especially at night. So you end up going to the bathroom uh, several times at night. Excessive thirst. General weakness. Okay, general weakness. Nervousness. So you get really excitable uh, easily. Itching. And this is... Uh, a problem that is the result of the high levels of calcium and phosphorus in the body. It leads to itching, which can be really disturbing and disabling. Muscle and joint pains are other symptoms that you may experience. Another big one. So this one I'm going to be talking about targets a particular organ, and that is the kidney. So you end up with kidney stones. And these stones are usually made from calcium because you've got excessive calcium circulating in the body because you've got very high levels of vitamin D. And then ultimately, this could lead to kidney failure. So these are some of the symptoms that you can expect from excessive uh, intake of uh, vitamin D from supplements. One more toxic side effect of excess vitamin D in circulation is... Bone loss. Yes, bone loss. I know this sounds counterintuitive because you sort of think, well, you've got high levels of calcium, high levels of vitamin D in circulation. Why would you be losing bone? Well, you can. And the theory behind this is the high levels of vitamin D and calcium leads to low levels of vitamin K2. And you need vitamin K2 for bone remodeling. Vitamin K2 takes calcium from uh, all the wrong places and deposits it in the bone where it is needed. In the absence of adequate amounts of vitamin K2, then your body will begin to mobilize calcium from the uh, bones and that, that will lead to bone loss. So yeah, that's one of the uh, toxic side effects of uh, excess vitamin D in circulation. So 
let's look at some of the real world cases. We want to look at some of the case series uh, regarding excess vitamin D. Uh, you're going to find this interesting. Let's have a look. Let's look at a couple of cases in the medical literature. In fact, there are quite a lot. I've only handpicked a few just to illustrate my point. And the first one here was published in Clinical Endocrinology Journal titled Vitamin D Toxicity Resulting from Overzealous Correction of Vitamin D Deficiency. And is a case series that ran between January 2011 to January 2013, with some of the symptoms being life-threatening. Uh, what did they find? Well, they identified 16 patients with vitamin D toxicity uh, in this uh, series. And some of the symptoms included uh, nausea, vomiting, altered consciousness level, constipation, uh, inflammation of the pancreas, acute kidney injury. This is the one that really interests us here, acute kidney injury. And uh, of course, weight loss was also identified. Next is another that was published in Oman Medical Journal titled Vitamin D Toxicity in Adults, a case series from an area with endemic low vitamin D problem. And uh, the symptoms they identified in this case series included vomiting, excessive urination, excessive uh, drinking, uh, which is the direct result of excessive thirst, encephalopathy, and this happens when toxins circulating in the, in the blood uh, now affects the brain, and uh, kidney dysfunction uh, was another thing that was identified in this patient. So you can see the kidney is always getting affected. Another case series here published in Clinical Nephrology titled The Other Side of Vitamin D Therapy, a case series of acute kidney injury due to malpractice related vitamin D intoxication. So as you can tell here, these are some of the cases uh, that uh, uh, are the direct result of doctor's error where doctors are trying to correct low vitamin D levels and then they end up overdoing it. They go over the top. In this particular series, the patients presented with high levels of uh, calcium and uh, of course, acute kidney injury uh, was also identified in these cases. Next is one that was published in new, uh, the New England Journal of Medicine and is titled Dietary Supplement Induced Vitamin D Intoxication. And this case was picked up by the FDA. And uh, when the FDA analyzed uh, some of the uh, products, the FDA found that in each seven size of six capsules, uh, it revealed 186,906 international units of vitamin D3, uh, which is 90 times the recommended dose. So this one was a direct result of uh, a manufacturer's error where they overloaded each capsule with excessive levels, excessive levels of vitamin D. Uh, whereas these ones are the results of uh, doctor's error, uh, this other one here is uh, the result of a manufacturer's error. So, uh, but either way, they all, all of these patients ended up with vitamin D toxicity. So as you can see there, our kidney health does get affected by excessive levels of vitamin D in our circulation. So here's what you should do next. If you're someone who is experiencing some of those symptoms that I talked about earlier on, and you are also someone who is taking uh, high doses of vitamin D supplements, and I'm talking doses like 20,000 international units a day, 30,000 international units a day, 50,000 international units a day, then uh, please request a test from your doctor, okay? Request a test from your doctor. And uh, if the test results come back and you're getting levels like uh, 100 nanograms per meal or certainly levels of 150 nanograms per meal and above, then uh, you may need to apply the brakes but because it is very likely uh, your symptoms are probably related to uh, the vitamin D uh, that you're taking, the vitamin D supplements. So it will make sense for you to apply the brakes. The good news is that uh, it is reversible. You know, some of those symptoms are reversible. And if it's kidney stones, of course, uh, they've got to be dealt with probably surgically. But other than that, a lot of the symptoms are reversible if you uh, apply the brakes on your vitamin D supplementation. So there we go. Hopefully you got some value from this video. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. Please like the video. And also please share this video with your friends, family and colleagues. Uh, if you haven't joined us yet at the 2020 Forum, uh, please uh, join us there. Uh, if you've got any questions, any comments regarding this video, uh, 
please go ahead, leave your comments down below. Uh, let me know if you are someone who's actually taking high levels of vitamin D uh, supplements. I know I've, I've encouraged you guys to be using vitamin D, uh, but I also want to know how much uh, you're taking daily. Uh, it will be interesting. So please let me know how much vitamin D, what your supplement dose is uh, saying. Let me know in the comment section, please. Um, I think that's about it. Oh, there should be two videos on your screen now. Please go ahead, click to watch any of those two videos. They're videos designed to enable you to take control of your health. That's it. Until next time, well, this is Dr. Joe signing out.